Hello everyone, it's February 12th, 2023, and we're going to do the daily Bible reading, 6th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And here's the first reading. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water. To whatever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's ever every deed. No one does he command to act, sorry, hold on a second. No one does he command to act unjustly. Do none does he give license to sin. The second reading is the first Corinthians two, six through ten. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are ma- mature not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious hidden, which God pre, uh, predetermined before the ages for our glory, in which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, the God has re- revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You are revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. And the final reading today is from Matthew five seventeen through <laughs> Matthew five seventeen through thirty seven. Jesus said to his disciples, "Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of, or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill." Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law, till all things have taken place. Therefore. Whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless you righteously surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it, what you have heard that it was said. To you, to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Rekha, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the fiery Jehina. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to the court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you'll be thrown into the prison. Amen, I say to you. You will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than you have your whole body thrown into Jehina. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for you to have your whole body go into Jehina. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath. But make good to the Lord all that you vow. 
But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is the footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, you, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. This is really important message that, that we went through. And it's clear cut. I don't really have to say more about it. We have to do our dil- due diligence to stay true to the Lord. And it will not be an easy thing to do. Some things will be easy for other people, but some things will not. But this is all important. It might be hard, but it is important. Anyway, peace be with you all. Have a great weekend.